Investing is like music. So that's the question, that's what we're answering today, or that's what we're talking about today. So everyone today needs to be an investor, as we talked about in other videos. So my name's Neil Doy, I'm the author of Millennial Money Mindset, if you want the fruits, you need the roots, creator of Football Formation Asset Allocation. Please like, please subscribe, and please tell one person about this channel. We're gonna give you one tip at the end that will really help your investing. So, investing is like, a band. So think of it like you want to have a team of assets that are working, playing for you. Each musical instrument has a different benefit or different strength or different weakness. So as they come together, they essentially create something better than the, than the individual parts. So one plus one equals three. That may sound bizarre, but that's exactly what investing does. So it creates something better than the individual parts. So think of having like a band. So I play bass and bass is a bit like bonds and bonds are really boring, but they form part of the band. Essentially they're the heartbeat of your band. The bass is the heartbeat of the band. It's a similar to bonds, like bonds are the heartbeat of your portfolio. So let's start with drums. So drums are paying yourself first. So saving, saving can be kind of boring and I, kind of, I bang on about how it's so important to pay yourself first and it's a bit like a drum like the drummer the pay yourself first keeps every month keeps the rest of the band in time the drums are a bit like cash so paying yourself first every month is the beat of the, the band then you've got the bass player but they're essentially they're a bit boring the bass players but they, they're kind of the heart of the band they keep everything together they kind of tie up the rest of the band and cash and the drums and bass player link up really well together, a bit like cash and bonds. So bonds are you're lending cash to companies or you're lending cash to governments and essentially they're, you might not notice them in your portfolio until they until you actually need them. So until the market crashes, so the market's crashed recently and bonds have kind of shown their, their worth because they're, they're kind of steady, dependable and even, even boring, they keep the, the timing of the rest of the band. Then you've got the rhythm guitar, so the rhythm guitar, it's a bit like the, the rhythm of the market, so it's a bit like a tracker. So trackers, they track the market essentially. It's a bit like rhythm guitar, so they kind of they go with the flow, they kind of flow with the market. They go up and they go down, and they, they sound pretty good, like the tracker can sound quite good. And then, it doesn't really, there's not, they're not very creative, they essentially just go with the flow. It's a bit like trackers, they kind of go with the flow. Then you've got, the lead guitar. So lead guitar, it's essentially, they're the creative ones of the band. They kind of make things happen. They kind of go off in directions that you might not have predicted. It's a bit like enterprising companies. So if you kind of buy shares that you think that are gonna essentially try and beat the market or buy in kind of sectors that you might not necessarily think would um, Maybe a bit risky, so but they kind of lead. They if the, the rest of the crowd are following. You can lead the. Essentially, you're going to make more money because you're you've led the market and you're going to be buying at a much better price than the rest of the market. So this is the lead guitarist. They're a bit more risky. They're a bit more creative. They're a bit more dynamic. They're a bit more entrepreneurial. Finally, you've got the lead singer. So the lead singer is the kind of the crazy one who kind of holds the attention of the the, the audience and they. Essentially, when you go to a party, the first person you mention, if you're talking about a band, is usually the front man, the lead singer. They're kind of big personality. And it's a bit like if you go to a party, who are you gonna talk about? If you're talking investment, you may be talking about Bitcoin, the kind of the latest kind of craze, or you might be talking about um, cannabis stocks because they're kind of up and coming and they're kind of exciting. CRISPR stocks, which are kind of like, um, they're kind of genetic engineering, which could be massive in the future or kind of blockchain technology or the kind of the internet of things, these kind of things are exciting and interesting and kind of hold the, the crowd in the palm of their hand, they kind of make things exciting. This is a bit like the lead singer, so this is a bit more like speculative. But then again, the lead singer are kind of much more likely to go off on a, go off and get drunk and throw a TV out the window. And it's a bit like these stocks, these kind of Bitcoin and internet of things or kind of CRISPR stuff, although they're really exciting and people talk about them, they're much more likely to kind of go out a window, like think of it like a stock falling out the window, like going up, the way markets move, they kind of go up the stairs and then fall out of a window. So they, they move up like that and then they fall down really quickly, like 
when people get kind of a herd mentality, you, you get this thing called loss aversion where people get scared and want to get out of the market quickly. So your singer is more likely to go off on a, um, a three day binge and not turn up. It's a bit like your stock, these kind of all speculative stocks or blockchain technology, they're more likely to not turn up when you want them compared to kind of the regular boring bass which is always going to be there every time. Or like the, the rhythm guitarist or the drummer who kind of tracks the, uh, who kind of keeps the time. So that's how I explain uh, asset allocation and essentially all these things working together. If you have a portfolio of all these things together, they, this is diversification, this creates something better than the individual part. So one plus one equals three. So these three, these five elements coming together, they create something amazing. They create music, they kind of create harmony, and they create a portfolio that is gonna do, that's actually gonna do well for you. And it reduces your stress and worry as well. If you've got boring bonds in your portfolio, then you know that when blockchain technology falls out a window and crashes, that you've got a steady, bass player playing keeping time that's gonna that when blockchain does come back up again that that bass player is kind of kept them in time and then your drummer it's annoying but they keep time they keep every month they pay you an income into your into your account every month and it keeps time it keeps the rest of your portfolio together that's diversification that's the best analogy I can come up with with Essentially, having all these together as a portfolio creates something better than the individual parts. So my name is Neil Doy. I'm the author of Millennial Money Mindset. If you want the fruits, you need the roots. I'm the creator of Football Formation Asset Allocation and the founder of Money Tips, Tax Investment Property Pension Savings. So this, you're watching YouTube channel, Millennial Money Mindset. I also have a podcast called Millennial Money Mindset. Please like, please subscribe, and please tell one person about the band of brothers, the, the, the portfolio that's gonna be better than the individual parts. Thank you so much, and yeah, if you want the fruit, you need the roots. Money, mindset. I think that sounds all right.